I found a marvelous poem by St. Teresa of Avila, who lived in the 1500s, quite some time ago. Anyway, this poem is significant because it just covers so much. Uh, there's so many things to touch on in here. It's a Christian poem because she was a Christian saint, and yet you'll definitely see non-duality referenced. Uh, you'll definitely see uh, religion as one referenced. Uh, you'll definitely see a very broad ideal of the love of the divine and of the nature of the divine. Uh, it, it transcends the idea of God as an anthropomorphic person in the sky and uh, really just lays out some beautiful things. So let me, instead of telling you about it, let me read it to you. Every prophet's name. I found completeness when each breath began to silently say the name of my Lord. That name, my conception of him, extended to me a hand that led to a place where even his divine name would not exist. Why? Most sounds express discontent, longing, or negotiation. The teapot may whistle out in an ecstatic cry, but even that I learned to control until everything I knew burst in a glorious symmetry. I have no seams, no walls, no laws. My frontiers and gods are the same. One divine being is existence, all the forests on this earth combined are but a tiny wood fiber, a particle of one spoke on the wheel. What is the relationship of form to the unseen aspects of God? What percentage of God is unseen? What percentage of the truth of him do we know? He led me to a place where only light existed only in us is God so lost that he asks questions. The soul outside all walls never troubles him, never wonders things like, where are you, my beloved? For then your arms and gods are intertwined. I say to my Lord, this holy place that I have entered, is your name the only key to this? And my Lord responded, How old do you think is existence? For eons of time, souls have been entering me. Every prophet's name is a key, as is every heart full of forgiveness and love. <laughs>